All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakah, Kwadas. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Sir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go on this topic, you know, which is pretty much a testimony that. The Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh did not bring us this far just to forsake us. Okay? And um, earlier today, which today is uh, so-called Wednesday, January the 31st, uh, 2018. Okay, earlier today, um, you know, when I come home from work on my break, I take a nap and... Um, you know, when I took took a nap, I had a um, you know, it was a dream that was uh, you know, given to me, and um, the things that I saw in the dream, you know, it was um, it was saddening, you know, it made me uh, it got me to the point where I actually cried, I was crying in my sleep, you know, I was seeing um. The stuff that I pretty much went through, okay, in my life and um, to the point where where I'm at right now um, and the things that, you know, of people actually dying and, um, you know, brothers actually catching hell and it's true, you know, and, um, and, uh, um, this dream while I was asleep, you know, while I was crying, you know, um, like it was in my head, like, you know, the Lord didn't, uh, bring us this far to forsake us, you know, the Lord brought us through this, this, you know, this hell, you know, in order to, to strengthen us, you know, to strengthen our faith in him, Okay. Let me get this uh, scripture, Deuteronomy 31 and 8. It says, And the Lord, Yahweh, he it is that doth go, go before thee. Okay, the scripture says that a day to the Lord is a thousand years to us. Okay, so our fates are already written, man. You know, one way or another, our fate is already written. Okay, the Lord, if we are a part of the elect, the Lord already set that up from the very beginning, man. You know, for us to, 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 to be delivered, okay, to get through whatever comes our way. It says, he will be with you. He will not fail you, okay? And you might have times in this this uh, truth where you might, you know, something might, might, you might not get it right then and there, but then, you know, you, you realize that, that's the Lord's will, you know, but then next thing you know, something better comes. Hey, but then if, if something better doesn't come, you just got to deal with it. You know, it says, neither forsake thee, fear not, neither be dismayed, you know. So when stuff happens to you, you're not supposed to be looking like, oh man, you know, in a confused state of mind. You know, first off, we're not here to prosper in this society, so that's not where I'm coming from. But the fact is that, and you got scoffers that may come at you, you know, just catching all type of hell out here, man. And it's like sometimes you just be like, hey, you know, your body, your body may be aching, you know, you just, you just want to break, you know, but that that's, that's a part of the, uh, that's a part of burning your, your cross, man, you know. You may be going through uh, some type of hell, you know, with, with a body sick sickness or something like that, you know. Might, you know, you got all type of people out here walking around with, you know, uh, like a cold or something like that. And you end up catching it and you just be like, God dang, man. You know, I done, you know, took all the, you know, you know, the herbs and, you know, tried to drink the, 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 the uh, you know, the right things, you know. And then you end up still catching it. You know, or, or, or doing something, you know, 
but that's just a part of how how things go in this uh this truth, man. You know, the Lord put everything in order for our faith to get better. You know, for our faith to get stronger. Okay, it's Isaiah forty one and ten. It says, "Fear not, fear fear thou not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed." Right. It says, "I am your power, your God." Okay, y'all by some y'all side. That's our power. It says, "I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness." You know. So at the end of the day, when you end up catching hell, okay, and then you end up staying strong in in the faith, you know, instead of you know failing the test like a lot of people they do you know they fail the test the thing is for us we know where it's coming from you know and the, and and the fact that we're able to be able to, to stand okay and this truth you know it's all through y'all the, the y'all by some y'all side man because the stuff that we go through to have faith is a gift man you know and that gift isn't given to everybody. But the fact is that you still holding on strong. That's a sign that Yahweh Simeon Asai is with you, man. You know? It says, Behold, all they, all they that are incensed against you shall be the same thing confounded. You know, you might end up having a woman and she might end up cheating. Or, or you know, might end up having a person that, you know, they don't necessarily believe that you are actually... A, a real man of the Lord, you know. But guess what? The Lord is going to make it to where those people that that did harm to you, they're going to they're going to be a saint, man, about what they did, okay? And you know, a, a part of the the affliction that brothers may have to go through is you know we actually putting our life on the line and you know putting our freedom on the line and uh you know. When that time comes, you know, uh, those people that, that did those things to us, you know, whether it's Esau or, or our own people or whoever, they're going to be confounded, man. Okay, because the Lord is with us, man. He's not going to put us through that, 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 that uh, hell, okay, and not be with us, man. It says, they shall be, be as nothing, and they that strive with you shall perish. Okay? A lot of people, a lot, a lot of these scoffers, they, they, they striving against us, man. You know, they put forth a lot of effort, you know, just to, to try to give us hell, man. You know, going to the deepest parts of, you know, stuff that you don't even know, man. Stuff that you don't even remember, you know. And and they'll, they'll, they'll bring that stuff out against you, you know. But you got to realize that that's all, that's all Satan, man, you know. Satan is just trying to fuck fuck with you, man. Okay, it says, Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them. Even them that contended with you, they that war against you shall be as nothing and as a thought of naught. You know, because in the kingdom, all this stuff that we going through is going to seem like a bad dream, man. Okay, it's going to feel like a nightmare. Like we, you know, like, hey, we was really in Babylon? You know? We really was going through this? We really had to go through the, the bull crap that we're going through now? You know? It says, For I the Lord thy God will hold you right hold your right hand, saying unto you, Fear not, I am I will help you. You know, and that's through everything, man. Okay, including death, man. Cause Satan has pretty much control over everything in this society, you know, including you know, the destroying us. You know, the ones who, who the Lord, you know, sanctioned, you know, but you got to go through, what do the book of, the book of Job say, you know, when Job went through those things, man, you know, the Lord told him to, to gird up his loins like a man, you know, this is uh, Matthew 11 and 28, it says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest, and one of the reasons why I wanted to get this get this scripture in particular, you know, is, you know, talking to, you know, the apostles and the elders and stuff like that, you know, one of the, 
the the main things that they say, especially during during this work this long, you know, is that they they hope to get saved themselves, man. You know, they they hope that Yahushua comes through and delivers them, man. You know, also, you know, and and that's a part of our hope. You know that those uh, brothers, you know, they've been doing this for for this long and 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 helped us. Uh, you know, on our path that they are part of that uh that prize, you know, and they get that 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 uh reward, man, you know. But they've been they've been uh going through through hell for a long time, you know. And and the Lord the Lord is going to deliver them, you know. That's that's a part of our hope, you know. So so their mindset is that they 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 get uh saved and delivered. From out of this uh, bullshit too, you know, and, and and imagining all the labor that you know that they did, you know, like that's that's a a, a special thing, man, you know, because hey, the Lord put a, a a special spirit in the in the um the apostles and the elders, man, you know, to 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 have that integrity, you know, that they have, you know, and 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 not go to being a nigga, you know. In this world, you got people out here that, you know, are scoffing and uh, talking shit, you know. But they don't understand how the brotherhood goes, man, you know. When, when you know, and it's nothing to, to, to explain to anybody, but, hey, when the apostles are around, man, hey, those are, man, they treat you just like, you know, a, a, a regular brother, man, you know. <laughs> they treat you like, like, like you know. Now, it don't, it don't even, I mean, of course, through, through the spirit, you know, we we show the respect because that's our apostles. But they they like man, hey, I'm just a much a much as much of a brother as you, man. And they got that that spirit of of wanting to serve brothers, man. You know, this this truth is about a brotherhood at the end of the day, man. You know, and Apostle Gabar he made the point, man, that the elect is all a family, man. You know, they they a tight knit family. Okay, to the point where uh, if a person comes in and they start scoffing, they not you're not a part of this family, you're not a part of this program, you know. But the 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 elect, okay, they're a part of the family and the stuff that brothers go through, okay, in this world, that's a part of you know the Lord, um, being there, you know, for you because the Lord the Lord has brothers, you know that that as the scriptures say. Okay, I'm gonna get that. I didn't even <laughs> think about that scripture, but it's the spirit, man. It says Proverbs 17 and 17. A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. You know, so you may be catching hell in this world, man. And the Lord just gives you, you know, a, a straight up brother, man. You know, that'll be there for you, man. That's one way of the Lord not forsaking you, man. You know? And the, the apostles, you know, they're brothers, man. You know? Straight up brothers, man. This is um Proverbs 50, I mean Psalms 55 and 22. It says, Cast your burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain you. He will he shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. You know? You're not gonna be moved, you know, up out of this truth, you know. The Lord is our rock, man, and, and we supposed to, you know, stay on that rock, man. You know, cause that's that sore foundation for 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 what whatever comes our way, man. You know, whatever comes our way, you're supposed to always have the mindset that hey, y'all by some y'all sides with us, man. You know, we're gonna get through this shit. You know, whatever whatever it is that we go through, man. The Lord is going going to deliver us, man. Just for, just because we have faith, man. You know, this is Psalm seventy three and twenty three. It says, nevertheless, I am continually with you. Thou hast holding me by my right hand. Thou shalt guide me with your counsel. Okay, and that, that's a part of the, the brotherhood, man. You know, the brothers that are telling you through the spirit what the scriptures say. Okay, it says, and afterward receive, to, receive me to glory. You know, because brothers are telling you, hey, man, you know, keep the faith, man. You know, pray and, you know, so on and so forth. You know, the Lord is always going to give that answer to you. To what you need to do, man. Okay, and when you do what the Lord says for you to do, 
You know, the Lord is going to glorify you, man. You know, so you might be going through a situation where, you know, you might be uh, going through some type of uh, temptation. OK. And you may be going through, you know, going to brothers, you know, wondering like, hey, it might be a woman like, yo, should I deal with this woman? You know, and the brother may sit up there and be like, well, hey, you really shouldn't deal with that woman, you know. And then the next next thing you know, the, you know, the, you don't deal with that woman. And the next thing you know, the Lord gives you a different, you know, something else, man. You know, I'm just using that as an example, you know, but at least you didn't you didn't get caught up in some crazy stuff from dealing with somebody, you know, and the Lord will give, glorify you that for that, man, for actually listening. You know, it says, whom have I in heaven but you? You know, and that's our mindset. Like, who else we got, man? You know, who else we got? Jesus, you know, that, that fucking demon, he ain't, he, he done forsake, for, forsake people were a long ass time ago. That nigga done died and came back, you know? I mean, never came back, you know? Talking about the, the Cesare Borgia. You know, the, the, the so-called white man. You know, the one who IUIC is, is saying is the father and the son, man. You know, that nigga done, you know, he put us in slavery, man. You know, he want to be technical through 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 Esau, which we know through the spirit that y'all by some of is the one who, who caused everything to go down, you know. But Esau, that, that, that idol, you know, he's not in heaven, man. The only one that is in heaven is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. It says, and there is none upon earth that I desire beside you. Not not these women, not this money, okay? Not not these these people that we call family in this world, you know? But, you know, the brotherhood in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh It says, my flesh and my heart fails. You know, so we're going to go through those times, you know, where um, we're going to be like, yo, did the Lord, you know, Forsake us, you know what, you know what's going on. It says, but but y'all by some y'all size the strength of my heart and my portion forever. You know, so so the Lord is the one who 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 keeps us in a strong mind frame, you know, in his truth. Okay, to, to be diligent, to have self-control, you know, having that fear of the Lord. If you don't have that fear of the Lord, you're gonna you just gonna fall out, you know. This is uh, Matthew 10 and 29. It says, Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing? And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father? Right? So the Lord is the one who, who makes uh, the sparrows fall on the ground. It says, But the very hairs of your head are numbered. You know, you may be going bald. You may be thinking that you're losing hair. But hey, the Lord is the one who, who, um, who got the numbers of your hair measured, man. Or numbered, man. You know, we we can't possibly could could uh, count all the hairs that we have on our head, man. You know, it says, "Fear ye not; therefore, you are more valued than many sparrows." Okay, whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. You know. So, so the fact that we confessing Yahweh Shah, okay, before men, Yahweh Shah is confessing us be, before Yahweh, you know, and the Lord Yahweh, okay, due to the fact that Yahweh Shah is the mediator between us and, and the, uh, the Heavenly Father, you know, the, the Heavenly Father has his angels around us to protect us, man, you know, so you may be going through some stuff and that's just the Lord just, you know, Using using uh you to, to using that situation to strengthen you, man. You know, let me get this. First Corinthians ten and thirteen is one of my favorite scriptures. It says, There has no temptation taken you, but such is common to man. Okay, and the stuff that we about to go through, man, you know, because right now this this ain't nothing, man. You know, the the shit that we actually about to see, man, you know, you're gonna actually be thinking, hey man. Dang, y'all, 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 me outside. Really killing a lot of people, man. You know, we really catching hell. You know, it says, but but y'all, bust me outside is faithful and will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. So even during the time of Jacob's trouble, man, the stuff that you personally go through. 
that's not going to be more than you are able to, to handle, man. You know, we're going to be able to handle Jacob's trouble, man. You know, even if even if we have to get put to death, we're going to be able, the Lord going to put the spirit on us to, to handle that, man. You know, it says, but we're with the temptation, make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. Okay, so the Lord is going to make a way for us to, to, to escape that temptation that we may uh, go through, man. And when you're going through the word temptation, okay, the word temptation means to, the, the want or feeling of wanting to do something wrong or unwise. You know, was that wrong or unwise is going against what the Lord say, you know. And how, how, how we know that through this, you know, through the spirit is, is, you know, we can say like, yo, like it's, it's, um, it's, it's easy to not do that, but it's an easy thing, man. You know, we, we, we can say that it's, we, you know, we ain't, we ain't going to go through that. You know, uh, we, you know, whenever the Lord throw our way, we'll, we'll handle it, you know, but you, it, the Lord could put something extremely hard in your path, man. But what the scripture says is not going to be more than you can handle, man. You know? And he's going to make a way for you to get up out of it. So if you have to, you know, if you, we we talk about the famine. If you can't can't eat, you know, if you can't, you, you don't know what clothes you're going to wear. You're going to have, you know, people coming at you. You know, bullets flying your way. You know, the Lord is going to, going to make it to where you are able to escape that, man. Okay, why? Okay, this is the reason why. This is Matthew 28 and 19. It says, go therefore and teach all nations. Okay, which the, those nations are the Israelites, man, that are in all the nations, man. It says, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Okay, which that's the name of the Father is Yahweh. And the name of the Son is Yahweh Shah. And the, the Holy Spirit is by some Rekar Kodas. Okay, it says, Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever have I commanded you. Okay, what that's that's the reason why we're gonna be able to get through those that temptation, man. You know, get through the bullshit that we that we uh go through, man. Because we are reaching the elect and we turning the, 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 the hearts of the people back onto, you know, the father, man. You know, like that the, the spirit of uh Elijah, man, you know. We we actually out there telling the like you know hey you know this is the father and worship him man you know it says and lo I am with you always okay and when I first when I was going through hell before man you know uh being homeless you know and all type of shit man and it's truth man you know and 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 when I saw that hey the, the scriptures say that Yahushua is with us always man that made me cry man. You know, because I was catching all type of hell, man, you know, and the fact that the Lord is still with us, you know, that that right there is spiritual and, and powerful, man. It says, I am with you always, even unto the end of the earth, a um, um, month, you know, so the Lord is still with us, man, and he bring us all this way into this truth, man, you know, just to forsake us, man, you know, made you, made you, uh, you know, First off, it's a blessing to even be, be an Israelite, you know. Lord could have made you an Edomite, you know. But to, 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 to actually be woken up and knowing that you're an Israelite, knowing that the, the truth, okay, and being able to, to serve the Lord in his, his um Holy Spirit, okay, to know the name of the Lord, okay, to actually do this work, okay, these are all blessings, man. You know, that we're not supposed to be taken lightly, man. That we supposed to appreciate this truth, man. You know, we supposed to have that feeling of, hey, I love you, you help us me outside, man. You know? God and, and through the spirit, you know, I always say I don't think that that guys have it in their mind that they actually love and appreciate you how about me outside. You know? Like you actually got to say, I love you, you how about me outside, man. You know, when you when you pray, that's a good way to end your prayers, man. This is Hebrews 6 and 10. It's fair, it says, For Yahweh Basim Yahshah is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which you have sold towards his name, and that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. So the fact that we in this work and we being persecuted, man, okay, or, or catching hell, 
the scripture says that blessed are blessed we are blessed man you know for suffering this reproach man that we go through man and having to go through man because satan and these demons they know who we are man and they're going to try their best to, 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 to throw everything that they got at us, man. And it's going to get worse, man. You know? But guess what? The Lord ain't going to forsake us, man. And that's the point, man. But with that, I want to say Shalom. Hopefully this was edifying. Lord willing. Shalom, Akim.